Bitcoins. Today is Friday, January 17th, 2014 at 11.39 a.m. in Tucson, Arizona. The only thing like mad Bitcoins is mad Bitcoins itself. The mad Bitcoin subscriber index is at 1874. Vote for mad Bitcoins for the shorties on Twitter. Link below. Here are today's mad bits. Bitcoin prices are down, nearing the bottom of the $800 range, with Coindesk BPI reporting a last of 817, a high of 854, and a low of 816. Litecoin was down as well, to $23 a coin. This episode of Mad Bitcoins has been sponsored by viewers like you. Special thanks to donors BTC 0 0.0011011, and 0.002. Mad Bitcoins thanks you for your generous support. The feds are ready to sell $25 million worth of Bitcoin seized from the Silk Road. It's no longer just a rumor. Now it's on Forbes. Despite the fact that the government's Bitcoins have increased in value from $6 million to $25 million in the time they've held them, the US government still wants to sell the Bitcoins seized from the Silk Road and the alleged Dread Pirate Roberts. It's unknown what type of auction or deal the feds will set up to sell their Bitcoins. There is no official Bitcoin exchange. Although it appears the Winklevi ETF and the second market ETF will both be interested, having so far been quietly buying their Bitcoins on the exchanges, and second market claiming that they're going door to door, perhaps implying direct contact with the miners. One can only assume that they're paying more than market rate in an attempt to quickly establish a large hoard of Bitcoins. 42 coin is far more interesting than you might think. Since mentioning that 42 coin was added to Cripsy yesterday, I received an email from Hendo420, the creator of 42 coin. He's a fan. Anyway, Hendo has written an impressive essay against pre-mining and insta-mining new coins. Link below. Pre-mining and insta-mining is basically a way for the creator of the coin to profit from the creation of the coin, either a little bit or a lot. Sometimes for giveaways and positive things, but most of the time, for more and more profit. I'd heard in the past that several coins were pre-mined, Nova, Quark, others, but at some point, even the pre-miners have sold their coins, so many believe these coins to be okay these days. But the creator of 42 coins does have a good point, and he put his point into practice. 42 coin has no pre-mine, and it has no massive amount of coins. Unlike the Dogecoin 100 billion, Although perhaps Dogecoin is really an analogy about fiat money designed to teach people a lesson about the dollar. There are only 42, 42 coins. That's right, 42, the meaning to life, the universe, and everything. 42 coin is all about speed and it has a unique feature designed to resist the influence of large mining pools with a difficulty that adjusts every seven minutes. When they come, it gets harder. When they leave, it gets easier. 42 coin also has a very fast block time of 42 seconds. Thank you, Hendo, for the information. Thanks for watching, and good luck with 42 coin. Now available on Cripsy.com. More information available at 42coin.org. Bitcoin Tucson. Bitcoin Tucson is all about bringing Bitcoiners together. Their goal is to create a forum to trade ideas, thoughts, education, and of course, Bitcoin. No knowledge is needed to participate. If you would like to learn more about Bitcoin, please join Bitcoin Tucson and get involved today. Bitcoin needs you. Please join or start your local meetup today. Did you know? Tucson is home to the University of Arizona, Bear Down Wildcats, and also home of Adams College, the Fighting Adams. They've also had two meetups already with 17 members showing up, and they took pictures. First, you get the pictures, then you get the meetups. Also, I think it's important to schedule a regular meeting every two weeks at the same place, same time, and same bit channel. 
Bitcoin is here to stay, and these meetup groups are the first step of Bitcoin outreach towards total Bitcoin acceptance. Total Bitcoin acceptance. Those words should have new meaning to you now, because TBA is our goal. Here's the conversation we're having. Would you rather use Bitcoin today, or would you rather use your local currency? Right now, TBA is probably at a 1 or a 2, whereas the acceptance of your local currency is at 98 to 99 percent. Some places only take checks, other places only take Bitcoin, but most places take cash. The goal is simple. Level the playing field. It costs almost nothing for a merchant to accept Bitcoin. More and more merchants are accepting Bitcoin every day. And once total Bitcoin acceptance is reached, the conversation is over. Not only is digital cash digital, but it's also accepted everywhere in the real world. Everyone has a wallet app installed on their phone, and they use it every day. Without even thinking about it, they buy their coffee, their newspaper, their Slurpees, their food, their tip. They donate to the homeless man playing guitar on the street, all with Bitcoin all in seconds, all by scanning a QR code. QR codes will change the world. They were widely mocked like barcodes, but they may turn out to be even more revolutionary through their ability to provide a link to a wallet. Once again, it's the simplicity of the thing. Links made HTML, the web. Google downloaded all the links. Bitcoin allows us to send money like email, to just donate money by visiting a link. Like the MP3 and the CD, Bitcoin's digital cash is just better than the cash and banking system currently offered today. Bitcoin will prevail. Like internet adoption, it's just a matter of time, and it will happen far quicker than anyone can imagine. Until next time, this has been Mad Bitcoins. Mad Bitcoins. Mad. Bitcoins.